In this video, I want to follow up on an issue that I ran into with my video on setting up Fleet Server and Elastic Agents. If you use publicly signed certificates for your Fleet Server and Elastic Server, you can ignore this video because you will not have encountered the issue that I'm about to discuss. But if you followed my Fleet Server setup video with self-signed certificates, then this video will be relevant to you. In the Fleet Server and Elastic Agent video, at the time 16 minute 11 seconds, I installed an Elastic Agent on a Linux server to stream Apache web server data to my Fleet Server. I used the elastic-agent install command to install the Elastic Agent. I want to draw your attention to the flag hyphen hyphen fleet server ESCA, which says that the Elastic Agent should tell the Fleet Server to use the file etc kibana certs elastic evermite.net ca.cert. If you recall, we created our certificate authority to sign the SSL certificates of elastic.evermite.net. And the ca.cert file is the public root certificate of our certificate authority. If you want a quick overview of certificate authorities, SSL chains, SSL verification, and other related concepts, check out our short video on certificate authority. I will provide a link to that video in the description of this video. Anyway, when we ran this command to install and start the Elastic Agent, we saw this error in the Elastic Agent error logs. The error says that the Elastic Agent is trying to look for the certificate authority in the directory etc certs elastic.evermite.net ca.cert. This is not the right location for the file. Based on my recent experiments, I discovered that the Fleet Server ESCA flag is not relevant when installing Elastic Agents that don't operate a Fleet Server. This means that the Fleet Server ESCA flag is only used during the install command of the Fleet Server, and it is not relevant to the other Elastic Agents. Additionally, it is really important that you properly set the SSL.certificate authorities property in the Fleet Settings Advanced YAML configuration field because this field is used by all the Elastic Agents, regardless of whether it operates a fleet server or not. This means that whatever value you specify for the SSL.certificate authorities property, all machines must be able to reference it. For example, if you state a Linux path for the SSL.certificate authorities property, but you have an Elastic Agent running on a Windows machine that used different file path conventions and notation, then the Elastic Agent on your Windows machine will encounter the same error that we mentioned earlier. I recently discovered that the most practical way to set the SSL.certificate authorities property is to directly copy in the contents of your CA.cert certificate file. That way, none of your Elastic Agents need to keep a local copy of the CA.cert file. Actually, let me make a correction. Only the Elastic Agent that manages your fleet server still needs a local copy of your CA.cert file. I still haven't figured out why the fleet server install command still requires the fleet server ESCA flag, given that we already specified it in the SSL.certificate authorities property, but at least none of the other Elastic agents require the fleet server ESCA flag. So I can do a quick demonstration to illustrate my point. So I'm going to come back to my Kibana and go to the fleet server area, and I'll click on settings and edit the output. And for the host, I'll just use the same URL as our previous video. And here, I'm going to paste in the contents of our public root certificate file, which is the contents of our ca.cert file, which I'm going to try to find over here. All right, so I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it in here. And I just have to make sure it's indented properly. All right, and I'll just press save. And now we can add a fleet server host. So nothing in this process here changes compared to our last video. And now I will copy the install fleet server command into a shell file on my fleet server and make the necessary edits. And nothing here changes compared to our previous video either. I want to mention that when installing the fleet server, we still have to fill out the path to the ca.cert file for the fleet server ESCA flag, even though we've mentioned it in our advanced YAML configuration field. 
If I omit the fleet server ESCA flag, then the fleet server won't work properly. I never figured out why you must repeat that information here. So if anyone knows why, then let us know in the comments below. So I'll just finish editing this file. All right, and now we should be able to install the fleet server. All right, things are successful and I believe everything should be up now. For this next part, I will demonstrate that everything works by creating a couple of Windows integrations. First, let's ingest some custom Windows logs. Then we will ingest some normal Windows logs. I will start with custom window logs. Let me open up the event viewer. And let's take a look at the applications. And inside Microsoft, Windows, and maybe we'll just ingest the WMI operational logs. So let me come back to this integrations area and I'll use custom Windows event logs. Now I can get the list of all the log types by running this command as well. It's just a different presentation compared to the tree view that we saw in the event viewer. This is more of a list view and we're gonna need to know the exact name uh, to paste into here in a moment. So we're looking for the WMI activity operational logs and I need to paste this channel right into here, exactly as that. And for the data set name, I'll just name it something easy for myself to remember. So let's go ahead and start a new Windows policy and I'll just press save. And let's add one more integration. I'm gonna just consume regular Windows metrics. So I'll type Windows and I'll do this integration. I'm going to leave all these settings as default, no need to change them now. And I'm going to add this integration to our Windows policy. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the Elastic Agent. I'm going to set it up on my own Windows laptop. So I'm going to download the Elastic Agent from this URL over here first. And then I'm going to unzip it. All right, so now I'm gonna copy this install elastic agent command and paste it into a text editor because I need to make some edits to it. So one of the things I need to do is reference the certificate that signed the fleet.evermite.net URL. So I'm gonna to have to make a copy of that onto my Windows machine as well. And this command should be complete now. We don't need to mention the fleet server ESCA flag because we will rely on the advanced YAML configuration field for that. So let's run this command on my Windows machine to install the Elastic Agent. Okay, so the agent should be installed now. Let me just double check by going to the fleet server area and I can see the agent is healthy. And I can also check the discover area because the custom windows log should be here. So if I use custom windows as a data set name, I should be able to see the WMI activity operational logs. Yep, there they are. And if I go to the integrations area and I just click on windows, and if I click on the assets, and I should be able to see some of the dashboards get populated as well with typical Windows metric data. Yep, so these dashboards look okay too. Let's do one more demonstration and install an Elastic Agent to a Linux server. I'll start with an Nginx integration. So I'm just gonna keep the default settings for Nginx and we'll start a new Linux policy. And I'll just press save here and let's add one more integration and I'll just pick the audit D so again I'll just keep the default settings here 
and we'll add it to our existing Linux policy. All right, so let's actually get the code to install our Elastic Agent on a Linux server. I'm going to copy this and edit it. I'm going to install the Elastic Agent to my Kibana server so that I don't have to spin up another Linux server. For this install Elastic Agent command, I need to reference the certificate authority used to sign the fleet.evermite.net domain. And I have the ca.cert file on the Kibana server since it was used to sign the kibana.evermite.net domain as well. So let me reference the same file. And that should be it. Again, we don't need to reference the fleet server ESCA flag because the advanced YAML configuration field will take care of that. So let's go ahead and install the Elastic Agent on this Linux machine. So let me just paste the command to this shell script, change the permission, and now we can run this command. All right, the agent should be installed now. So I can see that it's healthy. And if I click to engine X integration and look at the dashboards, yep, so I'm seeing some data come through for one of these graphs, right? So we've got data here and we've got data here as well. And that's basically it. We got the Elastic Agents to work on Windows and Linux using the same certificate authority. If anything was unclear, just leave a comment or email us through our website. So I'll see you in the next video.